In this free CAD tutorial, you learn how to create a pattern of fasteners. Multiple workbenches will be used for this. The plate with holes is already modeled. From here, we start with selecting the fasteners workbench. If you cannot find this workbench, go to the Tools tab and install it with the Add-on Manager. When the fasteners workbench is active, click on the edge of a hole and select this washer. Now click on the edge on the other side and select the same washer. Select a washer and change the size to M6. Also resize the other washer to M6. Then click on the edge of the washer and select this screw. Select the screw and check the size. Change the length to 20 millimeters to make it long enough. Click on the edge of this washer and select this cap nut. It's a little too big. Select it and change the size to M6. Then the nut fits on the screw. Click the eye icon to hide the cap nut. Then you can quickly see if the screw is long enough for the nut. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Export 3D models directly to their website. Then select how it should be manufactured. And configure your project details. Finally preview your 3D model and submit your manufacturing request. Now select the part workbench. Also select all fasteners you added. Click on the first washer and hold shift before selecting the cap nut. Go to the part menu and hover over compound. Then select make compound. Now all the fasteners are grouped. Right-click on the compound and select Appearance. Click on Custom Appearance and select Diffuse Color. Select a red color and click on OK. Then click Close twice to exit the menus. As you see, all fasteners are red. Select the compound and go to the draft workbench. Then select the array feature. Enter the numbers as follows. Only the X and Z axis are used. So only these intervals are important to enter. Enter 20 millimeters for the intervals and click on OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. On one axis, the pattern is executed incorrectly. Click on the array and expand the interval X menu. Change the value to a negative number to swap it to the other side. Now the pattern is executed correctly, so this is a way to model your fasteners in a pattern. When you expand the array, you see the compound and its fasteners are there. You might also want to check out my 3D printing channel. See you there.